basically this capo has six individual levers that you use to fret each string. They call them fingers. So I can just flip any of these fingers and fret that particular string, which is really cool. Normally capos give you, you know, the whole string, or sorry, the whole fret, or if you want, you can do partials, right? But you can't leave gaps in between. This capo lets you leave gaps, which opens up the door for a lot of really unique and weird tunings. Um, like for instance, this one that I've been playing with, um, which basically gives me an E, a B, an E, uh, an A, and then B and E again. can't do that because I'm fretting three strings in between other ones, right? This capo can be used on lots of different sizes of guitars because the actual fingers, it's all, it's all on a rod, right? And those fingers slide along the rod. So if you want, you can unscrew the top. This is how it works. You unscrew this and then you pop it off and then it'll come off. Um, and if you want, you could actually remove a couple of these fingers to put it on uh, like a banjo or something like that. Um, or else you can adjust the, the gaps in between the fingers to fit on uh, different sizes of guitars, like a narrower neck or a wider neck or a classical guitar, etc., 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 right? Um, you can flip these while you're playing. Um, you can have fun with that. You can think of a song that can use two different tunings uh, in the middle of a song. You could flip say from a major tuning to a minor tuning just by the, you know, the flip of a finger here. One other cool part about the spider capo is the fact that it has um, the tips of, it, of the fingers here are plastic rather than you know most capos have that rubber arm that goes across right. Well what I found happens with the rubber arm is you know you clamp it and then you go to do a string stretch and what it what happens is it it'll go up and then it'll stay up because that rubber arm is clamping so hard it doesn't have the, the freedom to, to fall back into place, right? So one cool thing with this uh, capo is that you can do string stretches and it doesn't, there's no problems. Uh, it'll just keep on working because of that plastic uh, fingertip that's giving you the pressure it can come back into position. So even doing a finger stretch right down close to the capo hasn't thrown it off. So in my opinion, that's a pretty cool feature of uh, the spider capo. Okay, so there you can see the spider capo. Uh, you can see I can flip these up and then we're, we've not fretted anything at that point. Um, or I can flip, you know, individual strings and come up with all kinds of weird tunings. So you can also see it from this angle here, right? So I'll just play around with this a little bit so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. And um, yeah, they're about 30 bucks on Amazon.com, something like that. Um, if you're looking for something to give you a bit of a different twist on your guitar, then uh, this might be the ticket.